Ladies and gentlemen, um, as you might know, Trump has plunged the world into a trade war. But some people are still trying desperately to stop it. Like European Commission President and man not impressed by his grandson's magic trick, <laughs> Jean Claude Juncker. Juncker met with Trump at the White House today to try to talk Trump out of his trade war with the EU. And in anticipation of the visit, yesterday Trump tweeted, European Union is coming to Washington tomorrow to negotiate a deal on trade. I have an idea for them. Both the U.S. and the EU drop all tariffs, barriers, and subsidies that would finally be called free market and fair trade. I hope they do it. We are ready, but they won't. <laughs> well, not with that attitude. <laughs> That's like if your psychiatrist said, it would be great if we could figure out your issues with your mother, but ain't no way that's happening, mama's boy. Uh-oh, here come the waterworks. Go ahead and squirt them. And Juncker is ready to go to the mattresses here. Responding to Trump's threats of steel and aluminum tariffs, Juncker said, so now we will also impose import tariffs. This is basically a stupid process, the fact that we have to do this, but we have to do it. We will now impose tariffs on motorcycles, Harley Davidson, on blue jeans, Levi's, on bourbon. We can also do stupid. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, we know Europeans can do stupid. I've met Piers Morgan. <laughs> but hold on, Juncker. You really think you're going to out stupid this guy? Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. You know what that is, right? God bless the United States. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Good luck outdumbing that. He's like the Bobby Fischer of being a moron. He's always three moves ahead, and he's groping the queen. <laughs> but Trump just wants everyone to get off his case, tweeting, when you have people snipping at your heels during a negotiation, it will only take longer to make a deal, and the deal will never be as good as it could have been with unity. Negotiations are going really well. Be cool. The end result will be worth it. Be cool? Be cool. Be cool. Be cool, Daddy. That's what you say when you're negotiating for a bag of weed, not plunging the world <laughs> into an economic about? crisis. It's just a few hundred billion dollars worth of tariffs. Okay, so chillax, brosef. <laughs> this afternoon, this afternoon, this just happened? This afternoon, Juncker and Trump announced that Europe had agreed to import more liquefied natural gas and soybeans while negotiations continued. And that's a good thing, because the people getting hurt most of all by this are farmers. First, Trump slapped a tariff on Chinese solar panels, then China came back and hit us with a tariff right in the soybeans. Now Trump's hitting back with a tariff on seafood and cosmetic products, so it's about to get a lot more expensive to put mascara on your goldfish. <laughs> Wow. These, these are Trump's people, and he is ruining their livelihoods. China is by far the biggest consumer of American soybeans, and now U.S. soybean prices have plunged to a 10-year low. Oh, no, is what I would say if I knew how much soybeans used to cost. <laughs> so Trump is scrambling to, a fee, to appease his farmer base tweeting things like, China is targeting our farmers who they know I love and respect as a way of getting me to continue allowing them to take advantage of the U.S. They are being vicious in what will be their failed attempt. We were being nice until now. <laughs> yes, I love all my farmers, the old McDonald's, <laughs> the one in the Dell, <laughs> the insurance guys. I love farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> The Trump is... Are they a sponsor? Are they a sponsor? They're a sponsor. And Trump is putting our money where his stupid mouth is, because yesterday he announced plans to send $12 billion to farmers hurt by retaliatory tariffs. That's a good deal. Normally, Trump only pays 130 grand to people he screwed. So, 
It looks like Rabobin. So it looks like Rabobada. Hari Bobadi. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Too late. So it looks like it's moving forward. And in order to implement it, the Department of Agriculture announced it will utilize a Great Depression era law to send payments to producers of dairy, hogs, and certain crops. And you know things are going great when your solution is, hey, what do we do during the Great Depression? <laughs> we'll be right back.